Hi there, I'm Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm designing for Paper Maze, papermaze.co.uk, which is an online scrapbooking store here in the UK. And I've got my little Project Life album. I mentioned this a while ago. I'll link the um, video below from where I was talking about it. And I miss using this book, this little album to document so much. It's just everyday stuff I use it for. Nothing majorly interesting. And it's been ages. Um, last summer, last May by the looks, or possibly Holly was leaving school. So gosh, that was, yes, last year. Oh my goodness. So that's how long it's been. I always promised myself when I started the Project Life scrapbooking because this isn't my first one I have a 12 by 12 as well which I started years ago most people document each week I never put myself under that pressure because I knew I wouldn't be able to keep it up and I would just give it up altogether I wanted to be able to pick up my albums and document as and when I chose to not as and when I had to because I knew that wouldn't work for me. So today I'm picking it back up. I've missed it and I really feel sad that I haven't kept it up. I know I can obviously go back, that's fine. I am though just going to continue as if there was nothing left in the middle here. If I want to go back, I will. I will date the pages though, so that I know that they're not in order. Um, but I'm just going to continue for this year. I've um, obviously using the reverse side here and I've got some paper here left over from my last paper maze project. This is all from Pink Fresh and I've got loads here to get on with and I did think these squares would be perfect for this album. I printed off six photos which I plan to pop in the centre there and if I want to do more I will but that's what I'm going to set myself the task of doing today. I've got the little two inch photographs. I print these off myself and um, just cut down to size, which I really like doing. I just print them onto six by four papers and I am just going to get on with these right now. Now, obviously I'm scrapbooking on the reverse, so I'm just going to stick them to the other photos. I think that's the easiest way of doing it. So I think I'll start off with the photos and that will then make the documenting easier photos are in I really do see this style of scrapbooking as everyday scrapbooking so there's no majorly impo important events I've got a photo of Louis being a pain he just stretches out all over the furniture and it drives me mad um, I hate seeing the furniture <laughs> being lazed around on um, I'm a bit of a stickler for sitting neatly in furniture and it's not for being messed around on um, so I moan at him every day and he does it anyway um, we had a letter from school to say Louis it was the most in proved student in the latest um, maths mock exam in his maths class so that was very good um, I do think that's quite a nice way to record things like emails from school because they used to come in a letter but these days it's an email or a text and um, I still like to record these things so I've just taken a photo of the actual email and um, printed it off Holly pretending she's Lady and the Tramp with our little doggy. Um, they had a piece of pasta that was actually taken last night. And then um, school holidays, I took the kids out for, um, we went out for lunch, but it was only pudding to Frankie and Benny's. That was in the last school break. And then the other one, we um, also went for coffee for one day and a coffee date with Aid. So nothing majorly important, but they're just everyday things. So I now need to decide which papers I want to go where. Looking at these, um, some of these are really perfect actually. I like the hearts. Um, coffee's hard, sorry, life's hard coffee helps. That definitely goes with our coffee breaks that we like to take. Um, I do like the house one as well. Um, do your thing, that definitely applies to Louis. So I might put that one with that one for Louis's photo. And that one actually, a little chaos and a lot of love inside the house, that's quite a good one. Um, could use this one here for a little journaling, that could work. And there was another one that I quite liked with a dessert. Where did I see that one? Ah, oh, here as well, that might work. Um, so yeah, these are really good actually to cut out. Obviously, these are going to be too small for the squares, so the idea being that I use some of the pattern papers to stick behind. 
I've cut the pattern paper to size and placed that down and now I'm just going to embellish it and cut up those other smaller cards to decorate. really liking how these pages are coming together now when I am scrapbooking or documenting in this kind of style I like to have a theme that pulls it all together um, I haven't actually pre-planned that theme but seeing the red arrows and I've got quite a few still left on this page I've decided that it's the red arrows and those pops of red which are going to be my pull together thing so I'm actually going to go ahead and cut out a few more of these because I think they're really going to make the page work. So that's it, my pages are finished, I have added all the bits and pieces, done um, some outlining and I've done my journaling as well. I really like how they go so well together, just adding things like the arrows, it just adds it all together, makes it all look like it's meant to be and um, literally I've just used a couple of sheets of paper really on this or rather the paper with the bits and pieces that I've cut out and a couple of pieces of patterned paper and just by cutting out bits and pieces on the papers it you've got your embellishments then as well so I hope you've enjoyed this thank you so much for those who commented on my previous video and pushing me towards getting back into my project life album thank you so much I'm really glad you did if you enjoy crafty types of videos please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the scrapbooking and project life that kind of thing please let me know so I know to do more videos and if you don't subscribe please press subscribe thank you so much and I will see you very soon bye